Travel Crew. Yay! She's been teaching here at The Vibe in Norway for a whole month. So I'm really lucky. Yeah. yeah. And we just wanted to ask you some questions. Yeah? So first question is, what, how, what have you heard about The Vibe before you came here and what were your expectations? Uh, I really didn't know what to expect because <laughs> it was, it's like a different country and different people so I didn't really know how like they how they all acted or how like the routines like go over here like classes and stuff like that so I was really nervous but I've seen dance videos online before of like some of the best like choreographers like Jillian Myers, Lyle Baniga, Sean Barista like some of the dopest people so I was like man this is probably like one of the best like international schools dance schools out there you know so <laughs> I was really nervous and yeah, but I was ready to teach because dope yeah. school, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> dope school. Yeah. <laughs> and how was it? How did you think it went? I think it went really, really well. Like I'm not used to teaching the same people over and over again. I usually travel to different places all the time, so I see different people, teach different people all the time, so it's different here because I get to actually bond with my students and actually see them like progress yeah. and get better. So that was really cool. <laughs> so do you think that's the biggest difference between teaching here and home? Or? Yes, I think that's the biggest difference. Yeah, to hanging out with people and, and getting to know them. Getting to know them and watching them progress like in my style. Yeah. Cool. So, um, what inspired you to start dancing then? Um, what inspired me to start dancing was we had a first generation Soril group, like an old school group back then. Yeah. And like a lot of like the teens back then used to look up to them in Houston. So like I was one of those teeny Ooh. boppers. I was like, Ooh, that's so real. <laughs> and then um, eventually, like when I was about 16 years old, I wanted to try out for like one of their teams at this university and dance under their modern team and I tried out and I made it and I danced with them for like a year and unfortunately they retired and then they handed down the leadership to me, my other crewmate Andrew and my other crewmate Brian. So then we took over and that's when I really started getting serious about dance. About 16, 17 years old, but that was my inspiration. The first generation of Soul Real. Oh, that's nice. so cool. Yeah, do you have any advice for young dancers? Or like, since you started out young yourself and how it was? Um, advice? I would say keep an open mind. I mean, because there's so, so much to learn. I mean, like, honestly, you're never going to have, like, enough to learn because there's so many styles. Like, even, like, So You Think You Dance, like, when I watch that show, it's amazing to see how versatile those people are. So, like, it inspires me to want to keep taking classes because I still need to keep taking classes, too, you know? I think that's what everyone needs to do and have a positive attitude no matter what. I know there's times where you feel down about yourself and stuff like that, but in the end, if you really want it, you have to push yourself and get through that rough mm -hmm. spot, you yeah? mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Forget it, just keep going. So, what's your future goals? Like, what, what do you want to do in the future? Is it dance? Of course, right? Dance. Yeah. And I still want to keep teaching. I think teaching's my favorite. <laughs> I think I like teaching more than performing now. I mean, I still love to perform, but teaching, that's my favorite right now. And I still want to teach, and we're trying to open a studio ourselves. So I can't wait till that opens. And I still want to travel around places and meet good people like you guys. And what else? One day, I want to choreograph for a music video. That would be cool. Oh, yeah. You know, behind the scenes. Yeah. Choreograph it. <laughs> watch it. Mm -hmm. And then release a DVD. How you do the step. <laughs> <laughs> How you do it. With Jackie. Jackie. Step. Touch. Step. Yeah. yeah. We can see that you love teaching and you have given us so much, like, inspiration-wise and everything. Like, given us so much. And we just wonder, what are you taking home from, like, being here and experiencing this? Because
because we have walked away with so much. Um. <laughs> oh. Like experience is really, um, it's really like indescribable. Like because I learned so much from you guys too, you know. Because y'all have inspired me to become better. Because y'all grow really fast. Like even not just taking my classes, but like from Chris and everyone that's been teaching here at Elm and mm. Alvaro. It's just. I don't know, just keep going. That's the thing with me here. And to just be a good person. Because I think that's what a lot of people like struggle with and that's like the most important thing to me right now is to learn to be a good person. Because then you'll be have a positive attitude, be a good dancer and yeah. Yeah, that's really Okay, so what do you think about the concept of life? Like how we do it? Taking people here for a month? Teaching, staying with Fao, hanging out, like, what do you think about the library? Okay. I think the concept is genius. It really is because you fly down someone, let's say for like a few days, you kind of pick up their style and then they have to leave already, but like when you get down here for a month, you really get to like plant those seeds, <laughs> you know, in your students' like head. So it's like tight how that you bring people down and they have to stay for a month because the students really like get to have a grasp on their style so that's really cool and you get to like learn from other people because like not just about dancing but like how their lives are in different areas of the world yeah. I think that's really dope so what about being away from home for a month like a whole Ooh. month a <laughs> whole month it went by fast like I really thought I was gonna be like super homesick I was like, oh, what do I do? <laughs> but Fowl and Chris, <laughs> they really become my brothers. They're pretty much my roommates, kind of, but they really made me feel at home, and so did you guys. Y'all are very, very nice. Aww. <laughs> no, but no, seriously, yeah, y'all are really, really nice people, so I felt at home. And it's not really easy for me to open up to people sometimes or connect with people like the same like with like my friends back home. So it was really nice to know that I yeah. could connect with y'all. Just job. how I can so connect. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we're really happy that you got to be here. And yeah, I've said that. Yeah. <laughs> times, but we're so happy it can be said. Yeah. So is there anyone you want to give a shout out to? Shout out. To my family back home, my blood family. You know, I don't even know if they'll watch this. I don't know, but shout out to my mom and dad, my brother, Bloods, and my blood family, and my family, my so real family, and the Boogie Zone, El Pizarro. He's crazy. Ooh. And who else are we? Oh, Alvaro from Sweden. Dope. 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 Jen Gallo, I just met her a couple of days ago, but she's dope too. Awesome. Pretty dope. Awesome. Yay! All my students that have taken my class, I've uh, really seen that y'all have gotten better. I mean, the first couple of classes is pretty rough, but later on y'all really started to pick, it up, pick up my style. So, yeah. proud of you guys. Thank you so much for taking my class. And yeah. Yeah. Thank you for coming. And thanks, yeah. Val. Thank you for bringing me here. Thank you. Good job, huh? Good job. Far. <laughs> Good job. Chris. Yeah. Chris, you and farm every day. <laughs> farm every day. But yeah, I love you guys. Everybody. Oh, I love you too. We love you too. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for being here and teaching at the vibe and yeah check yeah, the check time. out the blog oh log log the blog the blog the vibe the slash no no slash blog yeah do it for me it's yeah cool. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. check it out check it out check it check it check it the blog 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 bl